Hi, I'm Desmond from Akeem, and today I got a UE4 Unreal Engine 4 tutorial for you. And, uh, so to demonstrate this tutorial, I have this, uh, I don't know what this is, but I didn't want, I didn't want to use a blue guy, so I'm just going to use, uh, this object to clearly demonstrate what I'm going to show you. And that will be the trail controller and spring controller. If you ever, uh, if you haven't heard of that, they basically look like these two objects. And basically, what they're supposed to be used for is to add, well, springiness or adding a trailing effect to a mesh. It goes off of the uh, skeletal meshes of the um, actor, so only you know, uh, skeletal meshes could actually use these. So, before I just kind of show what it does on the inside, I'm just going to show you what they each look like. So, first I just drag these wires into here. This is in the anim graph, by the way, the uh, animation blueprint graph. And what I'm doing here is that I have the state machine, right? Just a simple idle pose. Idle pose. Can't talk today. Uh, and it's connected to this local to component. You only have to like, um, let's see there. You only have to drag it here. It'll convert it automatically. So you'll be fine with that. And, uh, so if you go in here, make sure you type in, uh, wait, where am I? Spring controller. See it there is right here on the scales of controls. Spring controller. So, I have this predetermined one right here, guys. Wanted to uh, have it um, demonstrate. So, to show it real fast, um, if you look here at this weird, well, I don't know what this is, you see that it, uh, see it's starting to like flail around, kind of has this kind of spongy, kind of springy kind of effect. That's basically uh, what it does. This is a very horrible demonstration for it, but you know, of course, you do it for it. You can use this for uh, a lot of different uh, uses. So, there's that, and there's also this trail controller, and basically what this does, um, go in here, um, you see here it just stretches out, it's just like that, it kind of trails along with that, and uh, so you may be wondering why would you use any of these, um, for my game I've actually used a combination of the spring controller and the trail controller to control uh, my character's hair for example, because uh, my character's hair is in a uh, solid uh, skeletal, skeletal mesh. You know, I don't use any particle systems or anything like that, and so I just use that to make the hair have a uh, simulated physics. So um, going on in here, you got a few controls here. First, uh, you need to um, uh, choose the bone you're trying to influence. So in here, I just choose my fourth bone, which is at somewhere in one of these spots. Uh, I'll see. Let's see. Over here is right here. Yeah, this bone right there. It's my fourth bone. So it's controlling that bone, right? And then, um, so I have it set to, uh, don't limit the displacement. You could limit the displacement and then it only stretch to a certain degree. Uh, you can also set the stiffness, um, I believe lower values is, uh, lower values is less stiff, I believe. I mean, you might want to try it for yourself though, but 50 is a nice place to start, uh, just to see it work. Uh, the spring dampening, the lower the spring dampening is, the, uh, the hard, the, um, I guess a recoil is so like you know whenever I stop moving it like this swam back into his uh, animation pose or swam back into place the you know the harder that will be so the lower the harder the the higher the softer and so you can also limit your Z spring so like whenever you move around let me say that, whenever you move around uh, you can also have it to where it doesn't like stretch in a Z motion of course this one doesn't do it for whatever reason something wrong with this one in particular. But it's, it's working in any other instance, so that's fine. And, uh, so there's that. Now the trail controller, if I go over here. So now the trail controller, uh, is a little bit different. You know, you still select the bone you want to influence, but then it's a chain length. You can only, um, it kind of works out the hierarchy of bones. So, like, if I had on this one, I could have it, uh, run down this chain and affect all these bones individually. So if I have that, the first bone selected right there, uh, and I go to, See chain lead, say if I said chain lead three, I'll put it on three right there. It will affect let's say bone two, it'll take bone two and affect it all the way down. So that means this bone right here, and it'll go all the way down to the, the this bone, that bone, and that bone right there. So I'll show that off real quick, real fast. Got that. And there, it's kinda of hard to tell, but you could kind of see it's a little bit Yeah, it's kind of uh you kinda of see a difference there. And uh, let me see if I can do a snake pattern real quick for you. Uh, this three, four, instead of five, the whole thing. It's only five bones in this mesh. 
And so, oh, that didn't do anything. Yeah, so you have to play around with this, it. a little funny. And you can change here, the, the uh, axis goes on, so you see right here. Uh, you could change uh, if it goes off the Y axis or the Z axis. In case if you have like a vertical like bone system or something like that, I believe uh, you could change that around. Now, um, you know, help affect that. You can also go into reverse motion here, invert chain bones. So if I like how I went down the skeleton, you can also go up the skeleton too with an inverting that. You can also limit the stretch. That way, so it doesn't go past a certain point. If you limit the stretch, then uh, set the stretch limit here, which I didn't turn on. I don't know why. And also, there's also trail relaxation. So basically, trail relaxation is basically whenever um, whenever it stretches out and you just stop, for example, that's how long it takes for it to get back into place. So just to show you that, that's uh, right here's at four, right? So go here, there, again, and so there is. So took that long to go back there. Now if I have it set to ten, let's see what ten does. Uh, see, 10 is a little bit faster, so it's, it's a little bit quicker on uh, relaxing. So, there yeah, you kind of have to see uh, some uses for this. Maybe you have, maybe you want to use some, like, some cloth physics with this. Some, you know, kind of, if you want to fake that, maybe you have Blender, you can't get cloth in your game because some reason or another you want to use that. Or maybe you just want some kind of flowing effect on your sword or whatever. It's basically what these controls can be used for. Now, I'm, I don't think there's any other controls. Let me see. Uh, can't spell. Spring toy, bone driven controller. Try to transform bone. I haven't used this one yet, so I'm not really too sure. But spring toy and trail controller are pretty good ones to use. So that's it. Just a quick UE4 tutorial. Uh, please remember to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.